Joker. Joker. Are you looking forward to Joker Folly Adu? I don't know. You don't know yet? Yeah. You like the Batman. You should be thrilled about Joker Folly Adu. I don't know. You're not uh, sold I, on like, the musical aspect? You know, I, I just think Joker worked better as one movie. And I agree. Just the idea of a sequel, I'm just like, it's going to have to wow me. I, I, hey, they said that about The Hangover, and then Todd Phillips proved us all wrong with The Hangover <laughs> too. Well, part Making three was scene. obviously the best Hangover. Yeah, they keep getting right. better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I, I'm on the record on this program saying many, many months before they announced Joker 2, if you're going to do Joker 2 as a movie, it should be a musical. You got to have it as a musical. And then that fucking happened. So I'm going to take full credit for that, good or bad. If it turns out to be a real stinker, that's that's on me. That's my bad. Uh, but I think it's a good direction. I think it's a very good direction Look, to do something completely different. I want to. I want it to be a really good movie. But... Um, with sequels, I'm just always kind of apprehensive. Uh, you know, I'm always un- unsure, especially with a movie like Joker that I felt like was a good insulated story. And I just hope that it's a movie where, you know, they have a reason to make a sequel and it's not like they just want to cash in on the fact that Joker made over a billion dollars. I think it's, honestly, I think it's just the latter. I think they want more money <laughs> and they got Lady Gaga's name. And listen, it was going to happen regardless. And you could do, uh, you know, they could either like merge that Joker universe with the Robert Pattinson one somehow, even though they got Barry Keoghan, who even wants that guy. Um, I think this is a cash grab. And at best case scenario, there is no Joker 3. This bombs and it's kind of like an interesting failure. Like That's the morning. best case scenario? Yes. It's not the movie being good? No, I don't think it. Listen, I think it'll be good in a different way, <laughs> but it ain't going to be as good as Joker. So the best you're going to get is it's going to be an interesting failure. But what and, if Lady Gaga sings a uh, bad romance, you know, during a sex scene with Joker? Then that would make it good. Like That'd be hot movie. because it would be sex happening. It should be sex. Yeah. Do we like want to see the Joker having sex? I don't know. What if they're what if they're both in clown makeup while having <laughs> sex? That's what I want. I want I want to see that clussy. <laughs> I feel like Arthur Fleck has to remain a virgin with rage. Otherwise, it's not the character we were introduced to. Really, like this is a character arc I don't want to see. Right, that would be mm. alienating the primary audience. <laughs> yeah, like who am I supposed to relate to now? Joker's all getting the, laid. All the incels have to get girlfriends before watching Joker Two. Mm. Yeah, they thought there would be violence after Joker One, but if in Joker Two, if he gets laid, there are going to be riots in the streets. <laughs> you thought there were riots after George Floyd? <laughs> <laughs> you were yeah. afraid of uh, movie theater shootings with Joker One. Wait until they find out that he had sex. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, to, to my point, though, like French Connection has a sequel. There's plenty yeah. of great movies from the 70s with sequels that just nobody thinks about or remembers. Terms of Endearment has a sequel. Exorcist 2. The Exorcist 2, The Heretic. I think that's the, the shining example of like taking a movie that was perfect and had the perfect tone and then disregarding all of that and using the sum of whatever remaining parts to build something fantastical and different and uh, making kind of a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. But it, it's entertaining in a way. Yeah, and The Omen has sequels as well. Uh, yeah, a lot of those movies got sequels that just nobody even talks about anymore. Yeah, we can only hope Space Cop 2 is one of those sequels, <laughs> one of those amazing, <laughs> fantastic sequels.